Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Leo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light as usual. This will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Leo. And it will not resonate with every Leo cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Leo or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it's your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, there is a link um, in the description box, or you can click the join button below for more information about that. Um, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. Jumping right into it. So we have something is brewing. Oh, somebody's up in their head. Feeling like they're at their breaking point. Someone feels like they have to make a decision. They're afraid of making this decision. Oh, goodness. And we have forbidden fruit. Someone feels drawn to you. Somebody feels pulled towards you. They feel like they have to hurry up and make a decision. Why, did, why is <laughs> it look like I had put them in the right spot, but now I'm like, no, that is not where I want the cards at. Much better. All right, so, and we have Chaser on the back of the deck. Low self-esteem, validation of self-worth, abandonment issues. Hmm. Yeah, it's like somebody feels like they're on the verge of speaking to you, reaching out to you, or doing something here. Somebody feels like they're at their breaking point. They feel pressured to make a decision. They're, you're heavily on someone's mind, but they're overthinking it. They're they're afraid. Um, they feel drawn to you, but maybe they also feel like... <sighs> hmm. They also feel like it may not be a good idea to come towards you for whatever reason. Tell me about something. What is brewing? Ooh, it says I took the easy way out. They will text or call. Yep, exactly. So you are going to hear from somebody. They they did what they thought was easier. But why, what are they on the, like, they're on the verge of reaching out to you with what intentions? They're going to, mm, see, don't trust this person. <laughs> yeah, this person, I feel I do not deserve you. They have mommy or daddy issues. They feel like they made a mistake. Yeah, Spirit says don't focus too much, place too much focus on this person right now. Because this person has like bad habits, addictions, whatever it is. Like they have, they're toxic, okay? And I feel like this person is still need, they need to heal. They need to work on themselves. They don't feel good enough for you. I still feel like they're not either, mm, are they still wanting to hide secrets or be friends with benefits or there's there something else? They know that they broke your heart by keeping secrets or by trying to like keep you in a friends with benefits situation or keeping you in a certain place. They were trying to like, they whatever decision that they made was because of money. It has something to do with their money situation. They didn't see something and now they do see it. They're sorry. Let's see. What are their intentions with coming towards my Leo collective? What are their intentions? They want to see this person. I feel like misses your energy. Hmm. Like they. <sighs> Somebody wants you to wants to be with you. They feel like you're the best thing that ever happened to them. They do see you as husband or wife material, but something's not right. All right, so why is this person all up in their head? They're thinking about how to fight for this or how to come in and like how to preserve this connection, like how to get you back. Yeah, they want you guys to be happy together. What are they trying to make a decision about? See, about you and somebody else. There's a karmic soulmate in the mix or somebody else is in the... 
Yeah, ex-partner affecting the connection. So there's somebody else from the past that is affecting this connection. It's one of their exes. All right, what does this karmic soulmate have to do with Leo? Heal. Okay, so they may not actually be. Okay, so we have childhood trauma, PTSD. Yeah, someone's still traumatized from either something from their childhood or something from that happened with an ex. Okay. Um, they, somebody needs to take some time to heal. Either you need to heal from a karmic ex or they need to heal from a karmic ex. Um, so what does this have to do with the, the with the decision or them? Somebody doesn't know if they can trust you because of their exes or something like that. They've gone through mm, somebody's ex could be also not that somebody's ex could not like you as well. Be aware of you and not like you. What in the hell? <sighs> Why are they feeling, feeling like you're the forbidden fruit or you're feeling like they're the forbidden fruit? This is because they know that it's going to be something long term. Okay. I can't stop. I talk about you constantly and think about you. You have nothing to worry about. See, therapy and counseling recommended. Recommended. Goodness. May need medication. Somebody needs to heal and somebody needs to. They're not in the best place mentally. So why is that make why is that making somebody feel like you're the forbidden fruit? What does that have to do with forbidden? Somebody wants you to unblock them. <laughs> <laughs> unblock me now they're trying to figure out how to like come towards you or what they should do how to fight for you because you guys have blocked them maybe that's why they feel like you're the forbidden fruit because you have unlimited access to you they don't have access to you anymore see can you give me another chance this time it'll be different they don't want you to move on they feel like there's like a lack of clarity they, they, they may feel like you feel like they lied about something but that's not the truth Hmm. Yeah, you guys probably really blocked this person. Huh. All right, let's see what's going on here. Tell me more about what they need to know about this situation. See, someone's coming, wants to come in with some type of love offer here. Sincere offer of love, romantic gifts, expressions of love. But why do we have self-delusion here? Separation forever changed. What is the... Somebody was trying to deny their feelings that they had for you. Yep. Somebody was trying to keep their heart closed off. And yep. But this love is... is tra this is a transformational love. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's trying to make some changes during separation. What does this have to do with Leo? Someone that you, yeah, you've been going in circles with this person. Are you, somebody hasn't, you haven't been learning your lesson when it comes to this person. What does this have to do with this person? See, there's some type of karmic connection in the mix. What about this karmic connection? Okay, somebody needs to get a divorce. Okay, somebody's still married or in some type of complicated relationship. Maybe they've been not ending that other relationship because of financial reasons. Because it says terminating a marriage separation will be costly. But whatever this other connection is, it's full of turbulence. It's unresolved. It's unsustainable. Um, so why are they not closing out that cycle? Well, it is coming to an end. It says permit. So you're maybe going to hear from somebody once this other, this other situation is coming to an end. And they're going to come toward you. Because it says permanent ending, no more chances, goodbye to the old. Tell me more. So you may feel like you, this is somebody you've been repeating a cycle with, but I feel like, yeah, they're they're moving in silence. Why are they trying to keep this a secret? They're trying to like, they're, for some of you, they're trying to leave somebody without really like telling them that they're going to leave them. They're kind of just trying to sneak away from a situation. For others of you, they have these feelings and these emotions for you. But they're not telling you or they're just kind of keeping everything on the down low when it comes like to their, I don't know, this is interesting. So tell me more. See, addiction, bad habits, addicted to sex. Maybe they're trying to also keep something that the, one of their, like their addictions a secret, destructive behaviors. What does this have to do? What is, how does this relate to Leo? Well, it says you're available, currently no other partner, open to dating. Okay. Proof that what? What does that do with Leo? Yeah, somebody's been, somebody's been like stringing you along until 
they feel like you've proven yourself to them. Yeah, they've been playing games with you. This person has low. So what do they want from Leo? So, wow, this is the second time this has come out. Because I saw that Friends with Benefits card. They wanted, what about it? Third party, see, what about a third party? Toxic. Ew, this is somebody that wanted to have their cake and eat it too. Okay. Um, yep. They were stringing you along. They, they liked sleeping with you. Um, they liked leeching off of your energy. They liked the attention that you gave them, the validation that you gave them. Um, you kind of boosted this person's ego. But I feel like this person was still deal had some type of third party that they were dealing with. And I feel like mostly their intentions were sexual. But I feel like that may be changing. Like maybe a, a, a initially that's all they were looking for. What is this proof card? See? Needing confirmation, searching for answers, exaggerating minor issues. So what does that have to do with? Apology. They want to apologize. They want to prove themselves to you that they like maybe changed or that you guys can be happy together because all you know is them in this energy, this toxic energy. What does this have to do with Leo? Yeah, mutual feelings card, but it flipped back over. See, somebody has been trying to not give up something. They've been trying to have you and also have something else too. No, like they don't want to give up something else to be with you. They've been trying to have, like I said, have their cake and eat it too. They didn't want to make some type of sacrifice. So they've been holding back from you. Yep. They want to make amends. Why are they, what is this that they've been needing to sacrifice or let go of? Mm. Being a ladies man for some of you, being a player. What is it? What do they need to, to let go of? The past? Yeah, something from their past. Mm. it's almost like they need to let go of something that they thought was going to be abundant or that was going to lead to some type of financial freedom or financial blessing for them but it's not headed that way it's not going in going in that direction it's like something that they thought was going to work out for them but it's not working out anymore what is it that they need to release they if for some of you this just they need to shift their perspective it says love lessons learned shift in perspective raising your vibration yeah I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was not being honest with you. They did have bad intentions, but now they're having some type of shift in perspective. Maybe now that you're getting over them and you're dating other people. Yeah, now they kind of want to come in and fight for you because they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you. Yeah, and see, like this is somebody that thought that they didn't love you or that they thought they didn't want something more serious with you. And now that, you know, you're cutting this person off, you stop talking to them, you like... Now their perspective is shifting and changing. Yeah, now that they feel like maybe you're letting them go. What's this mean for them? Yeah, you put boundaries in place. Yeah, you're being protective of yourself. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Spirit, tell me more about what this person was not wanting to sacrifice. What was this person not wanting to give up to be with Leo? See, some type of friends with benefits. What? Tell me, this keeps coming out. What about it? Heartbreak. What does this have to do with Leo? Guarded. See, this person likes to keep things kind of like, see, what is this infidelity? Infidelity. I dream about you. I want someone else to explore other options. Mm-mm. Feeling depressed, mommy or daddy issues again, money issues. They're not doing well. They thought that they wanted to explore other options. They were maybe exploring other options when they were with you. They didn't feel like they were good enough for you. They didn't feel like you, des they deserved you. Mm -mm. I feel like this person was trying to keep this at a certain place, like very surface level, friends with benefits. But this was, this led to, to protect themselves from some type of heartbreak. Yeah, what about show affection? They want to show you some type of emotion, express something to you. You're heavily on this person's mind and they also talk about you a lot, but they need to free themselves from something. Yeah, I was not good enough for you. 
It could be this person's own low self-esteem and their own limiting beliefs about themselves. I'm lost without you. Well, well. Oh, goodness. Do not trust. See, I think I already was picking up on that in the very beginning. You can't trust them because I feel like they, they're telling you to move on from this person. What? They've been hiding a lot from you. See, they were hiding some type of addiction from you. I swear. Pat, something to do with this past connection. It could have been somebody that they were friends with benefits with or something. Somebody they need to let go of. Yeah, it's like I see when this person's separating, they're going to miss you. They, they've been keeping a lot from you, but they had another person. I'm telling you, there was somebody else that they were dealing with. I don't think it was like anything too serious, but it's like, what is, why is they can be trusted here? I use you when it benefits me. See, like, I feel like you guys know that you can't trust this person, but this person keeps trying to convince you otherwise. It's like this person's gaslighting you, all right? This person's gaslighting you. They're trying to tell you that they don't have a karmic. They're trying to like make you feel like, yeah, and they're, it says this mistake cost me what matters. Didn't I just, wow. Didn't I just say this person was a gaslighter? Mm-hmm. They had another person. I think you guys know what this person, you know what was being hidden from you. You guys may still want this person, but you guys know within yourselves that this person is not good for you, at least right now or ever. I mean, this person was gaslighting you. They were trying to make it seem, they they made you feel guilty. They would make you feel guilty. They, they used you when it benefits them or they dealt with you when they could get something from you, sex, money, whatever it was. But they definitely have like, Either this is a karmic for you or they have a karmic around them. Health concern. What about it? I lied about the details. Mm -mm. I want to control you. See? They, they're they gaslighting you and lying to you and leaving out information. In a, in they maybe even lied to you about some type of health issue or something. Mental health. Physical health. Sorry, some of you could have been an STD or something like that, okay? But it says they lied to you. They did this to control you because you knowing the truth would not benefit them, okay? Tell me more about what this person was lying about. What did they do to control Leo? Please just hear me out. Yeah, see, this person just is really, really good with their words and manipulating. Yeah, skeletons in the closet. They maybe weren't being honest with you about their past as well, okay? Something to do with their husband or their or wife or they maybe had a husband or a wife and they didn't tell you because we did have the divorce card that came out. For some of you, you found out this person was whole ass married. Yeah, I'm I haven't changed. I'm just lying to get what I want. Wow. Yeah. This person knows they're not good enough for you. They weren't good enough for you and they're still not good for you or good enough for you. So yeah, this person, it says infidelity and I made a mistake. So this person maybe cheated on you. You guys maybe found out about it and now they're lost without you. What does this mean for Leo? This infidelity, I made a mistake. Work together as a team. Controlling or overbearing parents. What? They couldn't see that. So for some of you, the, they had a, a, a toxic family, a mom or dad around them or a family member around them that they were maybe giving money to. Or helping out financially that was making them feel guilty. Like, they were not being honest with you about something. It could have been more than one thing. Mm -mm. What about this uncontrolling or overbearing parent? That the, the timing is bad. Hmm. Whew. 
All right, y'all. All right, so what can what do they need to know about this or what what is going to happen going forward? So you're going to hear from them. You're going to they're going to reach out to you in some way. Page of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy. But see the King of Wands in reverse, lustful, selfish, impulsive. Yeah, definitely could be dealing with another air air sign. For some of you it could be an air sign, but I was going to say another fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sag. This person is trying to maintain some type of control over you. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, they're still very imbalanced, um reckless. They feel like they're losing control over you. Yeah, that's what this is. Someone feels like they, they they can't hide in their lies anymore. They can't gaslight you anymore. They, they can't manipulate you anymore. So, oh, goodness. Spirit says stay, stay, stay firm and strong in your boundaries. All right. Sagittarius energy here. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, their ego, their ego is being very bruised right now because they know that like they're starting to like if this their ego is starting to die, like yeah, they're starting to feel like a lack of confidence, they're starting to feel very vulnerable. The Hierophant. I think you guys just you feel like you may never like get the commitment or the I mean, for some of you you may still want this person, right? Taurus energy here, we have Scorpio energy. But Spirit is saying here, it's almost like Spirit is saying, like for some of you that still want to try to be with this person or make something work with them, Spirit is saying that you may want to rethink that idea. For others of you, I just think you guys don't think that something is ever going to come in for you. Like you're getting frustrated and angry. Like I even heard just angry. Like you're getting angry or frustrated that you know the commitment or the marriage or the, the partner that you want hasn't come in yet what do you what else do you guys have to say about that six of cups the two of pentacles it's serious as you have to completely let yeah you have to completely let go of this past person if you want this new person to come in if you want new love to come in because you're still very heavily attached to this past person okay so like i see you with you guys have been weighing your option about whether or not you should you know let this person go completely but with the world here What's this mean for this past person? Yeah, the seven of wands. I mean, so why do I keep seven of pentacles in reverse? You're not going to get what you want from this person, okay? So, yeah, they just keep saying boundaries. It's like you kind of got to get out of your emotions and think more logically. That's what I'm getting from this because your emotions are keeping you like stuck in a, a bad situation. Like it's like what you want from this person isn't going to happen. Tell me about what's going to happen going forward with this person they've been dealing with. See the Emperor Aries energy. Death. Okay, hold up. The Hermit. Okay, then what's going to happen? Uh, so all this energy that um I was just picking up on literally could have been past energy but spirit is saying that like this person is about to go through some type of transformation here but and that's why you and this person needed to be apart they're gonna want to come in and try to they're gonna want your forgiveness in the future they're gonna look back at all this shit that they did to you and they're gonna feel like you know crap they're gonna they're gonna realize that they really did you dirty at some point um, and yeah, we have Virgo energy, Scorpio, Aries. What does this mean for Leo? Yeah. Two of wands. You're going to have to like, you're going to have a decision to make in the future. That's what I'm seeing here. You're going to have a choice to make. And I feel like it's 
Spirit is saying don't rush into making a, a decision. Yeah, someone's definitely... What about the Seven of Swords in reverse? They're going to want to come in and, like, come clean. That's what I'm getting from this because, like, all of their lies and their secrets and all the shitty things that they've done is, like, keeping them captive. It's starting to become a little bit too much. It's pushing them to their breaking point. They're probably also going through a lot of karma right now. You know what I mean? Like, this person has just done too much. It's like they're about to hit rock bottom. Like, they're, they're re reaping so much bad karma for the lies. And I don't even know... All those things that were coming through in that reading could have also just been them talking about past karma because it kept coming out about a past situation. So like what spirit I feel like is also saying when it comes to this person is that you're dealing with somebody that is like reaping a lot of bad karma for things that they did in the past and in their past relationship with their, their husband or their wife. And like you kind of got to let this person go through that. Mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta let this person go through their karma it could not even you know they could have done some of these things to you what was their dynamic with um leo like what was their dynamic with leo like they do want something with you they do want something more. Yeah, they have love for you. I knew it. Now it's coming together. Their ego, yeah. Regret. They're going to regret. They were very egotistical with you. All right. They were very egotistical with you, but they did want you as a romantic partner. See, why is bad intentions here? They were lying. What were they lying? What were they bad intentions and lying mean for their situation with Leo? What they did? They were lying maybe something about their living situation or... No, I feel like... What is this lies? What was the lies on this person's end? I don't really feel like this person, I mean, they definitely, they were lying to you about their money situation for sure. Okay. It's something about like this person's reaping a lot of bad karma. They've done a lot of bad shit. All right, guys. Like they were not a good spouse or a good significant other in the past. Like they have a lot of like childhood crap that they need to. So what I'm in a nutshell, you are dealing with a very damaged person. Okay. And this person has a lot of things to sort out. They have some court karma that they need to, you know, reap. They have some heal, a lot of healing that they need to do from their childhood. They have toxic family around them. Like, this person is a hot mess. Like, you know what I mean? So, what is going to happen going forward? Let's see. I'm going to get some of these. What's going to happen going forward? I feel like this is something that they need to sort out for themselves. What's going to happen going forward with this person and Leo? I need more balance. Yeah. Let me hold you. They miss you. Yeah, they miss you. Do you think about me too? Let me have you. Yeah, I think this person wants you to come to them. You, you like limited your access, like the, the amount of access that this person has to you. Have I lost everything? Mm -hmm. I could be your hero. I would do anything for you. Do you see me? Do you even see me that way? They think you're starting to lose feelings for them. I And they are terrified. Yeah. I don't think that they have. See, there is someone else's in, th in reverse. What's the, tell me about what the, one of the biggest blockages is for Leo and this person. Happiness is my priority. Okay. Will you choose me? And words do hurt. No. Hmm. Tell me more about what the problem is. I meant what I said about wait i need more time they say that they're they're saying that they mean what they say when they want to be with you like they want to have a life with you they want to be a couple with you but they're not ready like that's what it is like they're saying that they do mean those things that they're not ready at all so that's why spirit is saying that you need to come to terms with the fact that this person cannot give you what it is that you want from them at least at this time now the future we will take a look at in the extended reading okay we're going to take a look at the future guidance timing all that will be in the extended the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all the extended readings that i've done or that i will do going forward um
Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you in the extended reading. Bye.